I'd like to show you how to service your Harkin 150 cam cleats. The reason these cams operate so smoothly is because there are three races of 11 ball bearings on each half of the cam. That's 66 ball bearings to help you smoothly cleat and release a line under tension. Harkin now offers a complete kit that allows you to keep the aluminum parts while replacing the springs and all the plastic parts that may have worn out or been subjected to UV damage. You're going to start by prying the plastic base plate off the cam. Once you do this, parts are going to start falling out, so you'll want to do it over a bowl or a box or a film can like we're using here just to contain the chaos. Now you can remove the springs. Here you need a tool like a drift punch, but a bolt will work just fine. You are going to push out the red plastic caps that are holding everything together. Once you get it to move out a bit, you can grab it from the top and work it out the rest of the way. Do the same to the other side, and you have it completely disassembled. Clean off the aluminum parts, and you are ready to reassemble. Set the base on a flat surface, and add 11 balls around the post. Set the red washer on, and add another 11 balls. Now set the pawl on top and add 11 more balls. And finish by pushing the red cap into place. Do the same thing on the other side. If you have trouble with the balls not staying put, you can use shaving cream or even a liquid soap to make them sticky. Just be sure to rinse it out after the cam is reassembled. And now install the springs on the bottom. You can double up on the springs if you think you need the extra tension or even as a safety feature in case one spring should break. And snap in the bottom plate and you're ready to put the cam back on the boat.